Well folks, a lovely flu ridden day here on the farm. It's bright and early and we're here with the herd. A little bit earlier than normal because we've got a bit of a drama going on. It's not all the uh, heavy machinery that you can hear going on. It's the goat dramas. So uh, here's Mrs Crabtree to tell you what's been going on. Tattoo gave birth today and she's for a twin. She's for a twin. Ne? Yeah, first time she's had twins. For a twin. We can have a look. Boy or girl? The beautiful tattoo. A boy. <laughs> yeah, those bits mean it's a boy. Good girl. This the third one come out first then already. Dangly bits as well. Two boys, that's good. Good, good. Perfect. Good start. What else has been happening? So hey. So no, what's been happening elsewhere? What? Oh my God. My wife's memory is not what it used to be. We've already had a birth this morning. Hotel, we've got a local hotel. Yeah. Look, we've got so many goats, she can't even remember when they're born. Yeah, so about an hour ago, I came out to get my coffee. Heard a squeak from way over at the goat house, a uh, farmhouse. I did and, say, uh, I feel the God give birth, didn't I? She did. Give her credit this morning. As soon as she woke up, instead of saying good morning, husband, I feel a, feel a bit frisky. Like, good morning, husband. I know, she didn't even say that. Like, it's been a goat born. I just feel it. Right, so Hooter, she caught us on the hop a little bit. We thought she had about another week or so to go. Um, so she wasn't in a birth room last night. And uh, she popped both kids out here. So thank God. Another boy. It was early more. Four boys. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's good for the uh it's good for business. You didn't share in the room for her. Uh yeah, because oh, there's a slap missing. Out. This one's nice and clean yeah. and I clean We'll leave them a little bit longer and then yeah, we'll put them on an outside outside room. Good girl Hooter. So both Hooter and Tattoo have kidded twice before black and brow yeah this is the first lot from thor isn't it what about the name black and brow <laughs> well we've already had one called blackie and one called brownie yeah but it's black and brow black and brown it's really you've <laughs> really given it some thought haven't you love yeah all right you name these two i'll name the other two to be honest i've already got one name ready and it's going to be revealed Sunday, this Sunday. So what is it today? Friday? Friday, yeah. This will probably be on tonight or tomorrow. It's only going to be a short video. Yeah, in our live stream Sunday, seven o'clock Thai time. Going to reveal the name of uh, one of those other twins. We've still got a lovely cow lookalike, Jasmine out here. And she's just about ready to pop. Hello, Lorcan. You're not ready to pop, are you? So where is she? Let's go and have a look at her because pretty sure she's going to be today. Hey Jingle. Jingle's a little bit withdrawn because we took Bongo away from her last night. We've moved all the Bucklins over to a new little Buckling enclosure over there. So here's Jasmine here. Now they haven't been fed this morning so most goats look skinny in the morning uh, but she's very very sunken around the back hips. You can see she's she's dropped right down. She's she's not very wide. The, the kid's in position, and either side of her tail, right at the back, you can if you pinched it that, you could almost touch your finger to your thumb. And that's the it's probably the best way of telling that they're just about to kid. There's no need for that, Natasha. Not been fed yet, are you, girl? A little bit late. Not going to let on what's going on behind us. So. Uh, a massive update video plan for that uh, we'll be we'll be doing it next week so um, we've got this video the Sunday live stream and then the next one will be what's going on in the background you can't hear a digger honest he start drinking already right so that that is the lad that's come out first 
this morning from Tattoo. So we've got the name sorted for him, which is going to be revealed on the live stream. The other two are called Black and Brown. Excellent. And <laughs> two's just come up with an ingenious, well, a fantastic name for that little fella. Go on. Jim Bond. Absolute brilliant. <laughs> James Bond on the farm. <laughs> Not fair, he drink all oh, cholesterol. Gets all the colostrum. Mm. He, oh, oh. Well, someone asked if you could call one uh, Drogba, he's falling over as much, but no. There's a. Uh, no the drop, no Drogba in Thailand, Popyang uh, Farm. Yeah. Tina never be able to do the Uber, and every time she put the Uber on, it'd fall over, wouldn't she? Mm. Wouldn't he? Yeah, you go for it, James Bond. Good lad. Food not long away. We don't feed the mums until they've uh, done their duties and cleaned the, the kids up so they're... Oh, oh, oh. Go on. Jim Bond coming, Jim Bond coming. Up, up, up. He has got a little bit of Roger Moore about him, I have to say. If I was a betting man, Jasmine, I'd say today... What the heck? What are you doing? Oh, you're so needy, Natasha. Aren't you, girl? I ain't got treats. Creamy, heavily pregnant with her first. Um, Sherbet, always got a smile, even in the mornings. Oh, perhaps not. What's the matter with you? Well, that's saying something for Sherbet. If she's moody, it, it's way too early. Give you a smile. Eh? Have we got a smile? Have we got a smile? No, you just got your chewing gum, haven't you? Oh, dear. A lot of the... Uh, the girls were on their first pregnancy. We got rid of quite a lot of the uh, the older girls. So the oldest goat we got now is Sam. who has got her back to us there. She's with her first kid, which we aptly named first. Uh, uh, and then it's the legend that is Brownie. They're our two oldest. I think after that, I think the oldest one that we've had born on the farm is Big Oanetta, followed by Tangmo, who's one of the twins. Thought she was going to turn out like a really rough goat and we'd have to get rid of her, but she's turned out brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it? Sometimes you just think, no, oh, that goat's not going to make it or not be it, not be the sort of like the genetics that you want in the herd. And it's quite easy to, to make a quick decision and, and get rid of goats that you don't think are going to make the grade. but. I don't know, a bit of love and care and attention and sometimes they, they turn out a lot better than you think. A bit like this one here. I thought it was doomed because someone sponsored her name as Harland. But uh, yeah, apart from that, she's turned out to be a very good goat. That nasty spot and her lovely little box of tricks. Trixie, named by Mark Mark. Got Sherbert's girl there, DJ. Got the lovely Vivian, she's just studded with Thor. So she's very good, very good breeding stock, I imagine. Uh, pancake, she's just got studded. Well, we're coming up to midday and the farm has fallen into quiet. The heavy machinery has stopped for lunch. Uh, however, the goat area is far from quiet. And it's not Jasmine giving birth. It's one of our favorite goats in the herd. I know they're all our favourites but she's a special favourite. It's Sherbet. Sherbet's the one that likes to wear my mum's hat and uh, makes a very good comfy footstool while you're fishing. She's also the only goat that smiles all the time. So I just came back and got me inhaler. I'm a bit under the weather guys. And we're back out. We'll go and check on her. So we're still at uh, two births so far, or two, yeah, two birth sessions and four boys. We are still expecting Jasmine, she's just started to show, so we're pretty sure that she's going to be today. True to form for sure, but keeps us on our toes. Uh, she's popping at least one out, totally unexpected. Tim's just said we might have to help Sherbert. No, a lady everyone. bit not really open. Mm, look. Yeah, but she's kidded plenty of times before, so. <coughs> if anyone can do it, Sherbet can. We only help out if we really need to. Good girl, Sherbet. 
There's olive and chilli. Marinette vegetables. Alright Lily. You'll notice that the goats from now on won't be all brown. So we had a huge run of brown goats. I think we had about 12 on the trot. It's quite hard to tell the difference when they're very young. But now we're a bit more traditional boar breed traits coming through. Whereas previously we were from Bullseye, who was the Kalahari Red. So that's where we've got the all browns from. And now we've thought the, the boar goat has got a generally a dark brown head and the rest of the body's white. Apart from his little brown feet. That right mate. You get some rest mate. You've been busy haven't you? Eh? Bit shy to say it though, but mate, absolutely pen and inks. He is borderline rancid. Loves to pee on his beard. It wooed you though, Coffee, didn't it, eh? You let him straight on. Dirty girl. <laughs>